And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today we have some angry bears outside. We're going to leave those bears outside and we're going to stay inside. Some of them have already started wandering off. It's, they've been here for a few days. While we were waiting for them to go away, we floored the inside here in concrete just to make things a little bit nicer. We also locked the doors so no one would stupidly wander outside and get mauled. Uh, at the same time, we have finished making 45 incendiary shells. The reason for that is we have an active quest trade with the Eagles Village. We give them 45 incendiary shells. They give us seven LTEX. We don't care about the rest of the stuff. That LTEX is really good for making those magic ring things. And we have finished the research of transport pods. Yes, I wanted these. Also, let's grab a Toxify generator while we're here. I have ideas for a few of these things. Yeah, we'll grab a Toxify generator. But after that, I think we're going to get ourselves some Spacer War Casket weaponry. For now, though, I'm thinking transport pod in here. Oh, wait, no, we don't need that just yet. I think, uh, first off, we are going to stay locked up tightly inside until this psychic drone high mail has sur has just gone away. It's been 24 hours. People have been dealing it with it in their own way. Um, yeah, there's only so much of that they can do. I'm expecting some mental breaks any minute now. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. Plus, they're locked inside. How oh, actually, no, let's not, let's not tempt Randy just yet. Well, full disclosure here, when I said I'd sort of gotten rid of the Void stuff, I hadn't really gotten rid of it so much as I just disabled it with Winston Waves. And we weren't using Winston Waves anyway, so we can still get Void events and attacks. I just figured we'd either work around them or run away or something. Um, but I'm presuming this is Void-related. A mysterious conversion chamber has crashed nearby. A toxic fume killing all plant life seems to be emanating within. Unsettling echoes of weeping and howling is audible from the chamber. Perhaps you should get away from it. Yes, I like that idea. Um, you know what? We'll save it. Hopefully this is not some weird run-ending event and we can survive it. If it's not, uh, we'll, we'll see, I suppose. Uh, for now, well, we still have to deal with the high psychic drone and the heat wave, so we're just going to wait till those are passed. Oh yeah, and the murder bears. So once that's passed, we'll go out and we'll poke that thing. Actually, we'll equip ourselves up first. We'll get everyone fully equipped. I think Chris is... Yeah, they're better off bringing a gun to this. And Muppet... Yeah, why have you still... No. Are we going to bring Muppet? Yeah, we're bringing everyone. We're going to bring the lot. This seems rather dangerous, so... It's a one-for-all sort of scenario. Oh, great. Idris has decided to hide in the room. We will take care of that after Idris stops sulking. Don't worry, we can take care of some weird void horrors whenever you're feeling better, buddy. Oh, thankfully the psychic drone is ending. We just gotta wait for Idris to recover. In fact, in the meantime... Insulting spree, Jason. Uh, couldn't have just waited like a few seconds? You would have went... Right there. See? There? You would have been perfect. Uh, Final stroll. Eerie noises. What eerie noises? Minus 10. Oh, I'm betting this is the minus 10 for eerie noises. Right. We got to go take care of that quickly, don't we? Otherwise, everyone's going to have mental breaks. Um, Jason is... Randomly insulting other people, so there's nothing we can do about that. We could arrest him. Ugh. We kind of have to, don't we? We can't be letting him run around like that. It's going to be too awkward otherwise. No, don't romance them. Uh, what I want you to do is actually... No, there's nothing we can do to actually fix them in this scenario. So, try to arrest. There you go, buddy. And... That's going to make you even more unhappy. But we don't care. Uh, we got to go kill that thing. It's our only hope. You release him. Uh, we need to get them a gun as well. Equip the charge LMG. Chris, uh, well, we're kind of running short on weapons, so Muppet got the heavy LMG, but I don't want to give him a charge lance. Namely, Chris is not, well, they're a half-decent shooter, but a charge lance would be a waste. I think I'm just going to give him the flash grenades. They can at least stun someone. They're probably going to be using most of their psychic abilities anyway, whatever's inside. Oh, their actual sight focus is pretty low. Well, they can do something, hopefully. All right. You Muppets want to live forever? Let's get going. We don't have a choice. Uh, oh, yeah, we got to open the door, don't we? And we got to watch out for bears. There is wild bears out there, so try not to do anything stupid. And great, it's raining. That's just going to help your mood incredibly well. Idris, whenever you're feeling better, buddy, you can come join us. Okay. I presume when we shoot this, something nasty hops out. Let's form a line. Yeah, back here is good. I'll try and get behind some cover. I have no idea what's inside that container. Uh, line up. 
Well, I was about to open fire with the assault rifle when I noticed that there's a bear coming up on the rear. Let's, uh, let's kill the bear. Then we'll take care of that case. And once the bets this thing spawns like a whole bunch of nasty... Like, I, I just imagine this as, whatchamacallit, sort of like one of those mech clusters. Uh, those mech drop things. Uh, you. Uh, you can shoot it. Go for it. What do you got for us? Aww. You're different. A black... Epper? For a second, I almost said leaper. Okay, training advanced. Training decay. Wait, this is an animal? Wait, what's your psychic sensitivity? Uh, I was kind of expecting something bigger. Or not bigger, but more things. Uh, what really designed for... I like... I brought flash grenades to deal with a mob, not... Okay, psychic shot's not gonna work. That means it has no psychic sensitivity. That means most of this stuff doesn't work. We can't help swap it. We can't word of trust it. Time sphere... Maybe we can age it to death? What's its average age? 300. Life expectancy is 300. So, uh, its birthday is today. It's 198. We would need to age it up at least another 100 years. I don't think we have enough psi focus to do that. Right, well, happy birthday, buddy. Uh, well, ooh, how much adult meat do you have? Meat per day growth. Huh. I wonder how much meat we could get out of this guy. No, that's not what we should be worried about. Hey, your movement speed, what is it? 2.5? Your movement Uh, bunch up, ladies. Uh, there you go. It's got a movement speed of 5. Yeah, just move back a bit, please. Or 2.5. We'll move a little bit further. Now, where's our grenades? Chris? Uh, actually, wait, no. We'll get a little bit more distance for you. We want to get everyone back to this doorway, then we're going to run through it. It'll probably smash through the door immediately, but we're going to play a ring around the rosy for as long as we possibly can. Chris, grenades. Uh, God, I still feel like this thing is too close. Nope, never mind. Chris, hold your fire. We don't want you using those grenades in a stupid way. They'll stun us. Okay, run, 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 run. Everyone through the door. Ooh, that was a little bit tighter than I'd like. We'll pop back here. Who's a major break risk? Uh, Jason is a major break risk. Why? Depressive, eerie noises. Okay, okay. Uh, you, get back in here. I want you to grab you some drugs. Everyone else, I'm sorry. You're on your own for a bit. Uh, where's he? Why did he not smash down the door? Please tell me the AI is not that bad. Okay. Ready, set. Let's go. And let's get some grenades here from Chris. Ooh, timing is everything. One right there. I really don't think a stun grenade is going to do much against this guy, but... Eh, everyone out of here. Okay, a stun grenade actually works? Actually, in that case... Just got skip. Oh, skip works. Oh, interesting. Interesting, 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 interesting. Everyone back inside. Everyone back inside. Right now. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, I know it's done. Don't care, don't care. Um, You're going to stand right here. This thing will have to go all the way around the edge on mud. We're going to teleport it back to, like, here or something? We're going to make it, put it in the worst place possible for any sort of movement. Like, the movement here is 30% water on, speed on water walking, so it'll have to walk all the way around. It'll be nightmarishly long for it. Uh, we just need to make sure that our grenades go off in a re I can't believe grenades are good against this thing. Okay. Yeah, this is working out perfectly. It's so slow already. Go. Oh, I might left it a bit late. We'll live and we'll learn. Okay, then... Skip time, I'm thinking. But after the stun wears off. Wait, so maybe we'll get off another grenade. No, not quite. You need to go over there? As far away as possible. Grenades. Right, okay. So, 
We let him come forward, we grenade him to stun him, then when he gets too close, hopefully our skip is recharged. And then we hit him again. Uh, immediately start throwing now. Quick, 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 quick. Go, go, go. Major break risk. Who's the second major break risk? Oh, Jason. I want you to... You're going for resting. Uh, Muppet. Damn it. We're losing more and more people. I don't like this. Hey, Muppet, get back inside. Grab drugs. Grab whatever you need, buddy. We... Whew. Stun. That's working perfectly. 48% hit points? Seriously? Forty-four. Yeah, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Uh, boy, check. I think that's enough of that for now. You need to go right there. Seriously, how many bullets do we have to put in you? Okay, you're at 35% health. If only we didn't have so many people who were, you know... On mental breaks. Major break risk. Four more people. Uh, I wonder if we can go inside and lock the doors. Like, it is technically an animal. That might be our best bet, actually, if we go inside and lock the doors. Right after this round, we'll teleport it as far away as possible. And then we'll just go inside and lock the doors. Worry about it later. I mean, we've knocked off enough health once everyone gets a good night's rest, some drugs, the usual... Alright, you're at 26%. Fine, everyone back inside. Run, 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 run. We'll leave him out here. We'll worry about him later. You guys need naps, drugs, food, all that stuff. The good stuff. Yeah, Bjorn knows where it's at. That's going to slow you guys down. Psychite tea is fine. Getting some meals. Alright, we're going to need you guys back out in the field very shortly. We don't want this guy having time to... Well, actually, maybe he'll bleed out. No, he's not going to bleed out, is he? Alright, how's everyone looking? Bjorn, you're looking rough. You, 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 you... God, God damn, there's like a lot of rough looking people there. I'm almost tempted to start hitting up the flake. The drug addictions might be a problem though. I think I'm going to send that Wojciech to keep poking this thing. We need to keep it contained. What's with the food meter on this thing? Oh wait, I was looking at the rat. Never mind. Hey, uh, so you. Come here. The thing that's got me worried, you see, is I've been looking at this thing in here and it says it's got this Neutronian healing inactive. Rapid healing caused as an effect of the neutronium. Blah, blah. It's activated after, it is activated after a prolonged time away from physical trauma. So basically we have to keep damaging it or it will get better. Uh, Basil, how are you looking? Your mood is actually rock solid as well. We'd like you to join us too. Eh. I think we're doing enough damage to keep its thingy, what's it, from activating. So, nope, 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 nope. Don't, just, just leave. Just leave. Basil will take over. He'll keep it out here and keep it distracted while everyone gets a good night's sleep, gets some drugs into them. Oh, quest available, mindless cobras. Ah, okay. So we kill 100 man-hunting cobras and we get extinguished flames and side trainer overshield. I'd actually be willing to do that uh, if we'd had the time. We still got to kill this thing. All right, fresh team rotating in oh jason why are you trying to come back out here you're depressive and you want to go outside to mm. i should set some zones just to make sure they don't go tangle with that thing right we got everyone sorted ooh, ooh, ooh. stay away from that guy if you wouldn't mind in fact let's give him a little bit of a quick skip shall we yo and no grenades chris don't want you doing something stupid i've had enough grenades blow up in my face i don't need this thing getting messed up since we're this close to killing it Skip him again, all the way over there. Perfect. Everyone else can line up, and we can start getting our shots in. Uh, grenade location. Oof. Get some right here. We'll see where he goes. Come on, you ugly piece of junk. Nope. It's outside of range of the grenades. He's taking... Yep, I should have left this on, didn't I? Yeah, he's definitely heading for the grass. Well, that'll make you a little bit faster, all right. We're going to be a little bit late in that grenade. Come on. Perfect, that stunned him. 
Then we just teleport him away again. How many skips we got left in you? Actually, a fair few. This guy's just too slow. I mean, I'm sure he's terrifying if he hits you. It's just him getting close enough to hit us is his problem. And now you're back on water where you move at 30% move speed and your moves down to 1.25. How much health you got left? Your head has... I can't actually read that. Uh, your brain. Oh my god, we shut you. You have 460 hit points in your brain. Torso has... I can't tell. You have been riddled so full of bullets it's impossible. Ah, there we go. Right shoulder has 1,380 hit points. We are barely scratching this guy, yet somehow his health pool is going down enough. I think we're just doing enough chip damage that eventually he's just going to die from the annoyance. Oh, I forgot to show the grenades at night. Oh, that was sloppy of me. Honestly, at this point, he's so slow, no one cares. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, don't target him. Target the actual ground, why don't you? Uh, and Wojciech, get ready to skip. Perfect. How are you not dead? It's just... You refuse to die. You're kind of frustrating that way. Okay. One last run, maybe? You're at 20% hit points. My god. Just die already. Oh my god, it's finally done. You're dead. Finally. Oh my god, I wonder how much meat you could get out of one of these things. Uh, it's probably going to disappear. 2,181. Huh. Black lever meat can be cooked into meals or eaten raw. I'm thinking you're going straight to the butcher table, buddy. It might be nice to see what that tastes like. I'm seeing in here a black titan corpse and a black wraith corpse. Yeah, I'm not liking the, the quantity of corpses that are showing up in there. Uh, Chief Multi-Hat, I want you to immediately go over here and start blasting that thing. Just... Yeah, whatever. Get close enough and start shooting it. You get a very good high damage weapon. Then we need to get Suncrest over here. Uh, you... Second. Yep, we want Suncrest over there to start butchering that thing. Consume... No. Never do holding. I, yeah. That tongue is incredible. It's like defying gravity. Just sort of hangs there. I just imagine it lolling along the ground while Suncrest drags it off to be butchered. Ah, well. You. Start shooting. Everyone else, take care of yourself. We're probably going to have a few more mental breaks. Uh, Chris... Yep, you've got your staff back on you. Off you go. Everyone is back home except for Chief Multi-Hat. Your job, blast this thing into oblivion. 88%. Well, once you've killed this, everyone will get a plus 10 bonus to their mood because they don't have to worry about the eerie noises that are going around. Oh, something going to pop out of this when we kill it is the question. Damn it, I should... Mm. You know what? Maybe let's just step back a wee bit. Multi Hot's not the fastest on her feet, but let's just keep her right about there. Hopefully, nothing pops out of this. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Hey, a couple of advanced components and. Who are you? Havoc implant. Plus 5 percent global learning factor. Melee dodge, melee DPS, melee hit chance, mental break threshold, research speed, shooting actually. I like that. Hmm. Ugh. Should we use Void Implants? I mean, we fought for that one. I think we should be allowed to keep it. Why not? Uh, Chief, bring that back to base. And the first thing we're also going to do is open that door and lock it open. Uh, remember from that time the royalty showed up. Having a, an open door for the enemy to come through as opposed to just smashing on your walls. Usually a good decision. Alright, we're going to wait till I... Ooh. There we go. That black leper made for an... Oh, that's just perfect. We don't need to do any hunting for a long while. I'm thinking next up I was going to go and send out a trade caravan, but this seems... Mindless Cobra seems like a good thing to grab. Uh, so we're going to do up a couple of stacks of grenades. Uh, that means we have to turn on this power. So we're going to turn on the power to the machining table, turn out a couple of grenades, use those grenades to destroy the snakes. The snakes will give it some Psylink trainers, and we'll use those trainers to make one of our wizards just that little bit better. We have six hours left before this quest expires. I'd like to get it done. We've got one frag grenade sorted, and another one on the way. Uh, Chris... Oh, they're mining. 
you were sort of running a little bit low on steel and wood and pretty much everything. It, you just you spend it and you don't even look. We have set up a mining drill over here. We've grabbed some marble out of the ground, but we're going to have to get on top of that more later. For now, I'm thinking, let's keep the small base small and nimble. I have a few ideas of things I want to try. First off, though, let's accept this quest. Those two side traders could come in really useful in the not too distant future. Transport pod crash and frag grenades complete. What the... Who are you? White Tralla. You are a psychopath. Jealous. You have a minus four because you're a genie. I am not seeing anything we want in that particular pawn, especially since they're in the Andertal. Slow study. They just, they've got strong melee, they're robust, strong immunity, all that stuff, but they're slow, they have uh, reduced shooting, and they just generally all round don't make great pawns long term. Wonderful at harvesting and stuff like that, and some of the brute labor stuff, but long term you usually want better pawns. Right on time. Pack of man hunting cobras. 100 of them. Yep, that guy was as good as his word. I wonder who counted them. Alright, we are going to... Let them come in here, then we're just going to grenade them into oblivion. Assuming no one does anything stupid, I'll have to keep an eye on the map and... Oh, they're splitting up. I would really prefer if they had to stay together. It makes handling them that much, well, handier. You, uh, equip those frag grenades. Actually, draft equip those frag grenades and get over there. Uh, who are we going to have up front? Chief Multi-Hat. You've got the best armor, so you're going to be doing a little bit of face tanking. Muppet. Actually... Ooh. Suncrest. Yeah, we'll get you to grab the other grenades. The reason we want them to grab the grenades is it keeps them out of trouble, but at the same time their weapon has a tendency to just sort of, well, shred everything. The whole team will be here shortly, and... Oof, that's a lot of snakes. Now, grenades. One step beyond. Ugh, we're probably going to destroy that wall segment there. Eh. I can live with that. Slow this down a wee bit. Okay, and fire two. Got to keep them staggered. This should hopefully cut down on the amount of corpse rot we get as well. Did all the snakes make it? Hey, some of them are deciding to turn around. Excellent, it's just the longer our people have to stand in corpse rot, the more annoying it is. It's not that we can't get rid of the corpse rot smell, it's just it's going to be very... Ooh. They are bunching up quite a lot. That should not be possible. Guys? Guys? When did this start happening? How are they able to move through? There's been some changes somewhere. Okay then. Guys, that was expensive! Ugh. Well, that was weird. Some mechanics have changed since I've last played. It used to be you could hold people at the door. Now they can force their way by. Hmm. We've got toxic buildup moderate, minor, left tinky pinky bitten off. Left eye bitten out. That was... This has been expensive. Maybe I should have just locked the door. I cannot believe that Jason lost an eye over this. We just got them fixed from being depressive. And now it's like, oh, I'm sorry. That scare you had? Yeah, no, we're going to take your eye instead. On the right side, we do have two bionic eyes in storage, so that can be fixed. Basil lost a left pinky. That might be a little bit trickier to replace. That's going to require basically magic. And Chief Multi-Hat is like, yeah, whatever. Just some cobras, buddy. Fine. Uh, how do we get rid of all of these corpses? Well, I say we make a corpse pile and get some Molotovs. We should have a Molotov lying around the place. Yep. Always do keep a Molotov for your corpse burning needs. So, turns out maybe chopping up that giant mutant leper thing might have been a bad idea. Seems to be giving everyone a minus 10 mood penalty. Oops. Um. Well, how was I supposed to know? Right, in that case we will just leave that stuff outside. Uh, you can all go out there. What's the priority on this set to? Preferred, uh, what's the priority in here set to? Yeah, we'll, we'll just make this an important priority. It will all get stuffed there, and uh, we'll let it all rot, and I'll just make sure that it's not included in any of our future food menu items. That's most of that mess sorted out. Uh, Chris over here is going to be the one, I think, who's going to partake of these. Actually, that might, uh, the thing is, every time we use one of these, it opens up a new area. For example, the conflagrator thing 
that should open up when we consume the extinguished flames. And the protector tree should open up when we uh, learn that. So let's just use them both. I figured they've got access to the siring ability, so if they do unlock any really nice abilities, we can then give them to other people. So this is extinguished flames, which might come in handy, but it does open up this whole tree, which is a free point, realistically. Uh, though the thing is, we can't progress beyond this. You can't go backwards, so we can't spend a point to open this. We could only spend points above it. Uh, what did we get? What else did we get? Ah, protector. We got overshield. That means we could j jump straight to skip shield, which is nice. But I think I'd prefer overshield. Huh. Actually, let's try overshield right now. Oh, it actually is centered on your character. Never mind. It's classed it. Uh, psychic sensitivity, hundred percent. Ah, that's sort of super cool. I have no idea how long it lasts, but it looks nice. All right, let's uh, close those doors, and we need to do a quick time spell here. We're out of corn. One quick thing we'd like to take care of is. Jason's eyeball. Uh, it is a little bit of an annoyance, but we do have a bionic eye on hand, so we can quickly fix that. Not that I think it's worth it on them, because they're a depressive, but they're one of ours, so we'll fix their eyeball for them. Uh, whenever they get around to it. Uh, Jason? No. Damn it. That was not my bad. There you go. Rest until healed in that bed. We made this entire little room here to be a hospital. Uh, it's Mediocre, of course, but we do have an excellent bed, we've got light, we've got everything, and someone's already dirty the place. Okay, the moment that operation starts, though... Yep, yeah, Idris comes in here and they clean it. Is it perfectly clean? Yes, cleanliness is absolute perfection. Now, so long as no one tries to wander in here, which won't happen now, definitely. And finished. One replaced eyeball. Excellent. Well, while one person's done, we're going to go on a caravan. We need to go all the way over here to complete another quest. And there is 22 people there and 7 people there. I might pick up a couple of friends on the way home. And what are you at? You have been restocked since we last visited. Let's go. One interesting thing I noticed here was they will actually buy that Titan meat or that whatever, volatile leper meat. I'm going to take that along. It should last just long enough to get there, and maybe we can sell it off for a little bit of a profit. Oh, I still have not incinerated those cobras. Trade-wise, that black leper meat is worth 1,990. That's actually pretty decent. Oh, what do we got here? Weapon-wise, they don't have anything we haven't already got, except for that low shield pack. That might actually come in very handy. Psychic Insanity Lance, you can never go wrong with one of those. I have a bunch of side trainers, which the Consumed Bodies one? That one I would really like to get my hands on. Uh, we can't... Well, well, we'll be back for those. It'll be fine. And the gene packs wise looking terrible. Jump jet packs. I would actually like to get my hands on the tech print. Though, actually, no. We, we've got we've got other ways of getting that research done. And I think that is everything. Except... Alright, let's head over to... Yeah, let's visit this Eagle's Village place. We have a quest to complete. This is the quest where we have to drop off... 45 of those mech shells, and if we fulfill that trade offer... Gear-wise, we should get our hands on... 7 l -techs. That's all I really care. The Void, Helmet, Masterwork, that's... Not terrible. In fact, let's stick that immediately on Bjorn. They can handle it. They've, they're psychically deaf already, so... Ooh, toxic environmental resistance and all sorts of good stuff for you. Nice! Also, I'm sure it'll make you look really cute to look at. All right, we might make a slight detour, though, on the way home. There's some things I'd like to pick up. Well, we do a little bit of a cleaning up at home. Oh, damn it, the rain started already. Uh, it's fine. Most of the snakes will be gone. We're also doing a little bit of a side tour on the top level map. There is a logging site over here that has seven people. I'm hoping some of them have a shooting level of about 8 to 10 would be preferable. And since there's only 7 of them, we can take a smaller team in here and hopefully nab some of them for our team. This one over here has 22 people. I think we would need a larger team for that. This one over here has 17. Yeah, once you crank up that difficulty to 500%, some of these places become, um, well, downright hostile. Alright, you. What do you got for us? And, ooh, actually, it's really uranium around here. I have looked through them here and, well, okay, several of them are back in the house now, but there's only one that has a shooting above, well, three. 
This guy, Banastra at 11. I think we're going to capture them alive if possible. Everyone else we're going to kill. Uh, hopefully we can capture Banastra. Are you slow? Ugh, depressive. Damn it. We only brought Tyler who has... Oh, and Bjorn. Tyler, Bjorn, and Chris. Unfortunately, Chris doesn't have any skip functionality. Uh, so we do want to kill too many. We want to... We, we want, oh! I don't know if you saw that, but that shotgun just took them apart. A uh, service rifle did some damage, but the war casket one did 30 damage. Ooh. That, that war casket slug thrower is just monstrous. Uh, come on. Yeah, that's two down. You're going to break soon. We might have to use a shock lance. Oh. Now, who has the actual psychic shock ability? I'm pretty sure... Ah, here we go. Hmm. Perfect. Uh, you. You're being a Muppet. In fact, all of you can attack that one, except for Chris. Chris, you can pop over here, and you are going to try and psychic shock Banastra before everyone shoots them. You see, the moment Nat goes down... They're all going to turn their guns on the other person. Eh, quick, 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 psychic shock them, if you wouldn't mind. Perfect! New recruit, fresh for the meat grinder. Nice. I was hoping to have some uranium gibbet cages. Oh well, uh, we're just a little bit unlucky on that front. Never mind, let's head back home. We at least got one person out of it and we can start on plan... I think this is plan C at this point. Yeah, my plans have kind of gone a little bit off the rails several times. Now that we've got that tribal home, it's time to make them even more at home. One downside of Banastra is they're, uh, unwaveringly loyal. This is unfortunate because it means you can't do anything with them, pretty much. You can enslave them, turn them into a hemogen farm, release or execute. That's it. But, well, okay, if you have the numbers mod installed, what you could do is come in here, be sneaky about it, and it gives you all these options no matter what. So you could actually recruit them or convert the religion. There's all sorts of stuff you can do in here that you shouldn't be able to do because the game doesn't seem to have, or the numbers mod doesn't seem to have accounted for the fact of uh, unwavering pawns. But what we're going to do is use Mind Break. Yeah, we're just going to shatter their mind and... Yeah, done! Now, the great thing about this is... It does so many things all at once, but uh, let's cover them. For example, here's Tyler. Tyler is a normal pawn. They need to sleep, they need recreation to feel satisfied. This pawn no longer needs sleep or recreation. They're awake forever and ever and ever. They're basically been zombified. But not like classic, you know, Ramiro zombies. We're talking, they still get to keep their brains. So they've still got their brains, they still bleed, they can still get shot and killed like normal people. The only difference is, think of their brain as like sort of frozen in time. They can't learn anything. They can never get better at shooting or melee or animal training or anything like that. Also, it's a bunch of their stuff has been disabled. For example, as a thrall, they can't do any skilled work. Also, anything to do with social is also gone. If we look under their work tab, you'll see that they can do... Oh, they can handle animals? Ah, weird. Didn't think they'd actually still be able to do that. Basic stuff, hunting, art for some reason, haul, clean, and research. Wait, you can do research? That's, that seems really wrong. Anyway, another bonus is, they're a th as a thrall, they get a plus 100 mood bonus. Erg, arg. Yeah, so effectively semi-zombified personages. And the thing is, they still have to eat. They just don't need to sleep. They've got maxed out morale. They can't really learn anything new. And, but they're decent enough haulers. However, there are other things you can do with them. I'm just going to wait until their mood goes up a bit. Actually... No, first we're going to... Nope, the wrong one. We're going to go here. And I'm going to guess that the red one is you. Red? Yeah. Well, just their religion is red. So if we go under red, we can do a role change for them. Here we go. Yeah, Twig Arco Technics. And we are going to make them a point master or a shooting specialist. They are the only person of their religion here. So go ahead. You see, when they came up with this as uh, the side cast expanded, I don't think ideology existed at the time. So I don't think they accounted for being able to take a zombie thrall and just turn them into a shooting specialist. So now, bearing in mind, this person never needs to sleep, has maxed out morale all the time, doesn't need recreation. 
And now they're also a shooting specialist on top of it, or they will be once that hits. Uh, I'm waiting for them to go above the... I don't have a mental break. I don't want to have a zombie mental break. I don't know what that entails, but I'd rather not have it. Hey, right, boom. They should never go below that threshold ever again. Successful roll change. Nice. They've now got the marksmanship command. That means they're better at shooting. It reduces their aiming time. Uh, also, they're going to have more needs or something, or moderate expectations. Don't care. They got 100 morale. Now, let's uh, entomb them in a war casket. Yes, zombie, thrall, war casket, sort of mechanoid type things. Pretty sure the Guardian one's the best. It's the most recent one we've researched, is it? 165 sharp armor, 115 blunt. Doesn't really have any of their bonuses going for it, but I'm saying we go that way. All right, Guardian cask thing. No, that color is not good enough. Since you're a thrall, black? Ugh, no, it's traditional. Gray. Yeah, there we go. Maybe make them a little bit more standout-ish. I think that's better. Grey because they really don't have personalities anymore. And a little bit of orange so that we can spot them from a distance on the battlefield. It's going to cost six components, 220 steel and 60 uranium. Actually, do we have the uranium? Yep, yeah, no, definitely. Definitely we have the uranium. I was checking this beforehand just to make sure. Uh, where is the uranium? You know what? Never mind. Disease muscle parasites. Oh. God damn it, timing is awkward. Uh, this pawn is trapped in here until this process is complete, which is kind of annoying because everyone's asleep, but they're fine. Uh, how hungry are you? Pretty hungry, actually. We'll start you out in a minute. So, our newest member of the team, well, I use the word member of the team rather loosely, considering they're sort of a zombified thrall. Uh, we need to give them a name. Uh, sorry, patron. Please welcome Draco to the team. Well, Draco. Oh, and that's right. We need to get Draco a weapon. Uh, give us security. We are going to want, yep, slug thrower. Shotgun sounds about right. Going to cost some steel and some com components. But you are going to be equipped with a lovely shotgun. Also, we need to... I really should have grabbed some extra pawns while we were out as prisoners. We need to get rid of some scars and problems that people have. And I think transferring those problems to prisoners would probably be our fastest way of doing that. In fact, there's 22 potential new recruits over there and 17 over there. I'll have to check out what they are. I'd prefer to go with only tribals because tribals have uh, the bonus when it comes to meditating at the tree. The anima tree for us is in an awkward position, but who cares? I think we can sort something out with that. Right now, we're taking a bit of a risk. We've taken nine people and we're going to this place. This place has 22 people and we want to capture a bunch. Preferably four for recruitment and then another bunch for, well, medical disposal. Uh, yeah, medical experiments, okay? Just medical experiments. Right. Let's see what we got in store for us here. I gotta imagine... Ooh, people are probably gonna come out of this one? Uh, let's line up and get ready for a mowdown. After attracting their attention, I'd like to point out some of the uh, potential recruits we've got going on here. We've got a 12 in shooting, a 9 in shooting. And down here, we have someone... Damn it, there was a psychically hypersensitive person. They must do it back in the building in between viewings. Okay, that's... that's... okay. I just gotta make sure that we don't accidentally kill them. But, uh, those two 12s? Yeah, we want those two. So if we could highlight those... And whenever that psychically hypersensitive shows back up again, I want them. Come on. Come on. There we go. Shooting started. They're gonna start dying. I need to make sure that we get the ones we want. Ah, there we go. Psychically hypersensitive ascetic. Yes. So those three are the ones we want the most. Everyone else, uh, disposable. We just want people with high shooting. Why is that eight? Uh, eight is good enough shooting skill. You'll make a decent zombie killer. All right. So we need to make sure they don't shoot eagle, uh, they don't shoot red, and they don't shoot bringer. We want all three of those. Oh, wait, they're a careful shooter. Never mind, they can shoot that one just fine. Well, this is going to be messy. Uh, I want to make sure they target the right ones. Uh, I'm going to have to micromanage the bejesus out of this. Uh, I'm probably going to cut a lot of this out or just sort of skip it forward as I slowly tell who to target who. There's no way to tell people not to target someone, unfortunately.
Eight prisoners, a respectable haul. The only ones we're not taking are the ones that already have medical conditions because we can't use them as, you know, uh, medical dumps. I lost a little footage there, but nothing too dramatic happened. We uh, brought everyone back. We then had to crank everyone's wardening up to one so that we could get all the prisoners in. One of the prisoners decided to have a mental break and pick a fight with a boom rat, which, well, did not go well for the prisoner because they were already injured. We got a few infections and stuff going on. But I'm thinking it's time we started implementing part of the plan. Now, who had health swap? Right. So we have two prisoners here that we're interested in. The first is Bringa. Bringa has a shooting of 12. Unfortunately, they got a little bit of brain scarring from where we psychically shocked them. Mildly unfortunate. This here is Locust. Locust there is their mate, I presume, but they have no health conditions whatsoever and they have nothing we're really interested in holding on to. So, what we want to do is grab Wojciech over here, get them to do a health swap, and take Bringa's health conditions, and donate them to Locust. So, oof. Excellent. Now, Bringa is perfectly healthy, and, wait, no, that's the wrong one, and Green's got all that stuff that was wrong with him now. Then we can just release them. We don't want them. Their whole purpose was just to act as a health jump. It's sort of like a... A way of doing medicine that doesn't require us to, you know, get fancy stuff with it. The hard part is finding enough healthy prisoners with no medical conditions. Anyway, that means Bringa is now ready to become one of us. A little bit of a quick mind break there. Uh, also, they're, uh, by the way, don't feel too bad for them. They're unwaveringly loyal, so welcome to the team. I would war cask you immediately, but unfortunately... We can't. We don't have enough uh, material for that. So I'm thinking... Hmm. I'm thinking straight over here. Begin roll change, and... You can make yourself a shooty guy. That leaves us with a few more pawns just lying about the place. Red here, we're going to recruit. The, the old-fashioned way. They're 13 years of age, which is a little bit disturbing, but... They're psychically hypersensitive and an ascetic. And they're also a, uh, a tribal. They've got the natu nature focus. And ooh, they've got minimal as well because they're an ascetic. They're going to be our highest level psychaster. The plan with them was going to be to raise them up with the Empire and, well, just generally just max them out. That psychically hypersensitive is very handy for a few niche spells. But by and large, psychically hypersensitive is not as important as I thought it was going to be. Oh, uh, they have one health condition at the moment, but we don't care about that. That's just, that can be taken care of the old-fashioned way with medicine. Over here we have Worm. We want to keep them. They've got a shooting of four, but I figure we enslave them, train up their shooting until it gets to about ten, then we mind break them and war cask them. Uh, this here is Green. They're a health donor. Once they've got all their infections healed up, we can dump the negative side effects of Crow on them. Crow is also one of those people we're going to train up. We're going to enslave them and get them to train up their shooting, and then they can dump their health effects on that other prisoner over there. Uh, this prisoner over here is also a health jump. They have no medical conditions, but Opossum here, who we want to keep, does. So that should give us, ooh, five war casked thrall zombies that will have ten shooting and will all be shooting specialists. And we, well, the problem is going to be getting all the resources necessary. So we're going to need some mining and we're going to need lots of advanced components and plasteel and regular components. I mean, war casking up all of them is, is going to be an expensive endeavor. Oh. And Chris over here made the wonderful, wonderful mistake of uh, trying to make fun of Draco. Yeah, Draco is our, you know, zombie war casket guy. That was not their smartest move. Currently, they're uh, moving around at incredibly slow speeds. No, just, just, you know, rest until it's healed, buddy. Someone will be along and they'll feed you. Muscle parasites were probably not helping their mood. Ugh, rough day to be Chris. I'm getting a little bit tired of all these diseases there. What the hell? Okay. Uh, fine, we're gonna get everyone treated for plague. In fact, I think I'm gonna turn down the medicine to just herbal for now. I had three of them on high-end medicine because they also had muscle parasites. So we've got muscle parasites and plague. It's not been a good day. It has not been a good day at all at all. We've also got a trade caravan that has shown up. Uh, Bjorn is not... Actually, who is the currently the best for trade? Suncrist? Huh. Okay, that seems improbable. Uh, they're currently asleep. You know what, Bjorn? You're, you're not that bad. You you might as well do the trading now. I mean, they're second. It's like it's 0.03% of a trade difference. I am not going to care too much. 
We're going to pick up nine components, one advanced component, and a psychic suit pulser. I would like to buy their psych trainers, but they don't accept drugs. Uh, so, no. All right, Bjorn, I need you to get yourself into medical. Uh, reason being, we want everyone treated for their plague before the plague starts getting out of control. I am getting kind of nervous for Riza over here. Due to just, well, they're one of our medics, so they were a little bit slow about getting tending done to them, and the tending that was done was done by someone who had plague and muscle parasites, or well, muscle parasites. They're at 56% or 57% plague and only 49% cure. They're almost 8 percentage points behind. 7.7, .7, minus 7 point, oh. And the problem is I would like to use uh, Bjorn's uh, Preach Faith ability, but unfortunately they're on a mental break right now because, I don't know, they're... Okay, yeah, they got Plague and they got Muscle Parasites and yeah, they're not doing too well themselves either. But if they could, you know, come off that mental break anytime now, that would be great and we could get them to preach health to Riza. All right, Bjorn, do your little magic talk thing. Come on. Yeah, that should help. Uh, preach health, 24 hours. Immunity gain speed plus 25%. That is not enough. Uh, I need you to rest until healed. Uh, maybe you'll make it 72%, 65, 65 out of 72. Oh, this is going to be so tight. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. And it took the death of a prisoner for me to realize it. One of our prisoners died from plague. And then I thought, why don't more of our prisoners die from plague? You see, Rizza here has a plague, and they have a shattered nose. Moose here has a bruise. Um, I think I would prefer if Rizza had the bruise. So, Rizza, say goodbye to your problem nose and to your plague. And now it's Moose's problem. If they survive, great. If they don't, well, who cares, I suppose? Um... Oh my god, it reset their immunity to zero. Yep, that was literally a death sentence. They have zero immunity to it, but the plague is already at its 70. Ooh. Yeah, um... Let's just walk away from that one, people. Yep, yep, that's fine. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, let's release them immediately, if you wouldn't mind, people. That would be nice. And Riza, since you're feeling so much better, why don't you prioritize taking Worm to bed? Ooh. That was a little bit nerve-wracking, but it turns out, yes, you can pawn off your problems on prisoners. Run free, Moose. Get off the map. Odds of survival? Oh, I would say slim. Very, very slim. Well, we've got another problem. Bjorn has decided that their immune system sucks as well. Oh my god, well, they're suffering from muscle parasites, and, uh... This is going to be kind of sucky. Tyler, get over here. Damn it. I... This plague has ravaged us. I, I don't think I've ever been hit by a plague this hard before. It just, it, it just cuts through the immune systems of everyone. We've only got, I mean, we've went with a real ragtag of colonists here, but we've only got two people with any medical skill. Chris was immediately down with muscle parasites and plague simultaneously, I believe. Uh, no, just muscle parasites. And Riza was our other person who was also immediately down with the plague. So we got muscle parasites and one of our medic plagues on the other, and that just sort of decreased their effectiveness, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, you can uh, just drop them there if you wouldn't mind. And then what we're going to do is, well, I was keeping green around as a blank slate, and I was going to maybe save one of these prisoners. This prisoner's dead. They're, uh, we could have saved them by using a health swap, but we're not going to because we need that health swap to dump it out to green. The only other prisoner is this one, but they have a torso scar and a left thumb shot off. Which means, yeah, we'll hire them, I suppose, but we're going to have to find another blank slate to dump their medical problems on. This prisoner's dead. This prisoner's about to become, well, deaded. Yeah. This does mean that Bjorn's going to end up with some gunshot damage, but considering they're getting rid of the plague, I think we count that as good. And they're immediately up and about. In fact, they even got rid of the muscle parasites. That... That's handy. We can gift muscle parasites to people. That is something I'm going to have to try in the future. That'd be a nice way to get rid of that. I'm a little curious to see how our hunting shotguns work. I mean, they are shotguns and these are technically animals that we're shooting at, so... Let's find out. Yep, that works pretty good. <laughs> they drop muffalo fast. 
Uh, yeah, I'm just worried about them going Manhunter, which is why I'm actually staying so far away, but I'm pretty sure we can one-hit kill... Yeah, most of them. Uh, punch up. Oh my... Yeah, those shotguns are just brutal. The damage on these things is, well, semi-appropriate. It's 30 damage, but it's a burst count of four, so it fires four blasts of 30 damage. Which is why when it hits these things, it tends to just leave nothing behind. That torso is just gone. Two slugs from the shotgun basically remove the entire torso. This thing is... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. What? Yeah, 60 damage to the torso there. There's just... There's not a lot of standing up to these things. Uh, downsides. I don't know if we're going to get as much meat out of them because most of the meat is sort of missing. They're sort of cored out sections of them is all that's left. What the hell, Basil? Why? Uh, I think they decided to have a quick smoke uh, just to numb the pain of the terrible, terrible week they're having. And then it was like, oops, not enough uh, consciousness anymore. I guess I'll just pass out. Uh, fine, someone will be along to pick you up in a bit. No, no, the pemmican's more important. Yep, the pe <laughs> They're going off to haul corn. The corn is more important than you, Basil. It's fine, it's fine. Remember all those prisoners we got at that outpost? Like, the, just the sheer quantity, the massive amount of prisoners we had access to. Well, only three of them are still alive. Bringa, who we immediately converted to our side. Uh, Red, who is the psychically hypersensitive one. And uh, Opossum is basically a level four shooting. So basically, yeah, this was uh, a horrific, horrific mess up. On our, uh, just, no, just it all went horrifically, horrifically wrong. Oh, space casket weaponry. Mm. Spacer stuff. That means... Charge lances. Well, we can't really afford those, but... Exit. I think I'll hold off on the... Should we get the specialist stuff now? Or should we just go with advanced war caskets? Well, technically the higher up ones are better. They do come with some more negatives as well. But I'm thinking I do like the look of the barrage war casket. 200% sharp armor, 90% blunt. Uh, yeah. They'll, they'll be a bit slow, but... Dear God, they'll be tough. Nope, 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 nope. Grand Penetrating Scanner. The reason we need the Grand Penetrating Scanner is so that we can find uranium so we can build some more caskets in the first place. We don't have enough uranium to be just, you know, building the damn things. Okay, Grand Scanner first, then we can worry about the higher end stuff. I want to do a bit of a caravan here, but what's annoying me is war caskets. Draco here, for example, is war casketed up, but they're giving a minus 49 carry capacity. In other words, including them in a caravan reduces your total carry capacity. You need to bring along some extra carry capacity just so that they can move. This seems odd. It's powered armor. I thought they wouldn't need help. They, it does increase their carry capacity being war casked. This one has a carry capacity of 103. This one has a war carry capacity of 110, but the equipment weighs 159. I did some googling online, I can't find anything on this. I, I don't know if this is a bug or if this is intentional just to try and balance them out. Just seems like a very odd choice. Trade-wise, we are dumping a lot of drugs and some random clothing for 7,880 silver and we're buying 8,600th worth of junk. Namely, three sight trainers. Adrenaline Rush, Neuroquake and Consume Bodies. Those will come in handy. Neuroquake I'm just really happy to have because that's a sort of get out of jail free card for a lot of nasty instances. We're also going to spend any excess money we've got on medicine, advanced components and components. We're not done here. We are definitely going to be coming back to this location to clean it out some more. Once we've made some more drugs of course. Well, looks like that battery finally popped. Turns out you can have this defense. Oops. Um... Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, would everyone please get on that immediately? It's in the fridge. God, that fridge is getting a little bit warm. Even Draco got a little bit burned in that one. Scratch, scare, aching, got a couple of burns. Uh, we'll sort you out. What? And he immediately goes and lies down. Let's the place burn. Oh, damn it. Don't injure Red. That's our psychically hypersensitive pawn that we want to keep. Uh, sorry, Opossum. We're going to have to risk some more brain damage to you. How much brain damage you got already? Oh, it's actually only a scar to your torso. It's fine. No, no scar to your brain. Lucky you. And you've got catharsis after that. Eh, perfect. They'll get carried back in. Red is looking okay, and we're going to plant some more heal root. Now, where were we? Yes, that was it. Tyler, we want you to learn a new skill. Where is it? Consume bodies. 
Now, the reason we're getting Tyler to do this is, well, actually, let's do this now. We want to get them Rock Construct and Craft Siring. So what they should be able to do now is, once they learn this skill, this skill here allows them to consume corpses and turn it into neural heat. So basically, you destroy a corpse, your neural heat goes up by one, permanently. And I don't think there's a cap on that. We would like everyone to have access to this ability, if at all possible. So, uh, time to craft a siring of doing it. Which is why we gave them this instead of giving it to someone else. They can now crack this open, and yeah, this is going to take them a minute, isn't it? Yeah, but once that's done... Yeah, someone want to capture them? Perfect. Nice. Okay, consume bodies, create siring of consume bodies. We're also going to need one of drain psi essence and mind break and... Oh, yeah. Oof. Hey, consume bodies, done. And then that ring can go on this shelf, and we might want to stick a good door on that as well. I did a quick detour to research batteries. Reason being is, well, our battery thingy exploded, and that, this battery over here, the one we start with, uh, with whatever the pirate start, it's not actually rechargeable. In other words, it stores, and it, it stores 20,000 watt days or whatever, it, a huge amount of electricity, but you can't actually put any electricity into it. Which means it's got to go and be replaced by actual batteries. Oh, and then we can go back to the ground penetrating scanner. With that ring on board of Wojciech here, uh, okay, Tyler made the ring because they have access to the siren craft. Wojciech over here is going to pop over to this section and actually use this. They can consume the corpses. Despite having no skill in the required tree, this ring allows them to do it. So you can, let's see, how big is this? Yep, that's just about right. In fact, I can expand that, like, corpse storage area just a little bit. Now, you'll see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven corpses, and it goes up by seven. Our neural heat just went up by seven points, and that's permanent. It's just forever. No worries about it. All right, back to work. Uh, in fact, actually, you might want to get your side focus back up again. So Tyler and Wojciech are going to be doing a few back and forths in the next couple of days that should be uh, interesting, and you'll see the strategy we're going for. A quick pop back to Body Up Pond to sell off some more of our drugs and a whole bunch of excess corn I accidentally grew, and we're going to bag ourselves some uranium, along with a bunch of components. As long as I can take it home. 0.3 of a day. Good, I was worried we might have overloaded a bit with that uranium. It's kind of heavy. Uh, let's check how our uranium's doing, and then worry about that noise. Yeah, we got 20 uranium, and... Raid, relationship. Group of pigs. Ah, oh, god damn it, it's porkies. That's a lot of porkies. Oh god. Um They will prepare for a while and then attack. They will still attack each other because of their bad faction relations. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking we should do the time warp again. Yeah, how's Chris looking? Chris is fully charged. Wojciech is not so much. And other pawn is uh, on the road. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking age will be the winner here. Would be nice to shock a few of them, but I don't think we can take the risk, considering there's 61 of them. Oof. A lot of guns. Let me think. Let me think for a second. I gotta come up with a plan. That's a lot of enemies. Like, 61's a lot. We need our entire team for this. If we can get our entire team back, I think... I think we have a chance. Namely because of those two auto shotguns. Uh, I think it's kind of get back in time. So far, all of our caravans have returned from either here, here, or here. I figure we're pretty safe to let them keep returning for now. But if these guys attack before they return, our options will be far more limited. Alright, that's bad. They're attacking now. Our people are not back. They're uh, back in 0 0.2 days. I think we have a... We only have one solution, don't we? Oh well, it is what it is. Here they come. Slow it down. Slow it down. Yeah. Come on in. A little closer. Right, that's about it. You guys, you're point one of a day away. Why don't you just rest? T take, a, take a time out for a second. We're going to near real quick. Yep, this is going to knock out Wojciech for five days. Uh, Chris, if that grenade guy causes any issues, you know what to do to him. What the? Vandals. Psychic shock, anyone? Oh no, shotgun to the face? Oh! If I had enough of those shotguns, I don't think I'd ever worry about these guys. Uh, 
another psychic shock, I think. Uh, yeah. That guy cannot be allowed to get off a shot. There we go. Colonus needs rescue. Void checks down. And the enemies are all going to kill each other. That guy's insane. Now he's down. Like, we picked that location there because it keeps this area here safe. Fortunately, it's also driven a few animals crazy. But that's fine. Uh, you guys, enter. Done. Whew. Well, let's get in some shooting experience, shall we? Uh, and maybe put out the fires. Oh. Uh, in fact, we may want to capture some of those. We did shock a couple. And if they're shocked and not actually injured with anything permanent. Ooh, reprocess your stomach. We want that. Give me a minute. Even with the psychic shocks we kicked out, we, we didn't get any clean pawns to capture. This one here has a burn scare on the brain. Uh, this one over here is missing their right, arm, uh, right hand and their left leg because uh, I'll give you two guesses. Uh, the first one should be slug and the second one should be thrower. That war casket shotgun, I just want five pawns equipped with that and just watch the devastation they can lay down in some sort of kill box. Can you just imagine the carnage? of some marksmanship commanded, like rapid shooting, oh, psychically boosted pawns with auto shotguns. Oh, but okay, you, uh, capture that guy right there. Uh, the rest of you, I'm gonna get you out here, but we might actually get you to hold fire for a bit. Uh, thing is, we could probably psychically shock some pawns here, uh, assuming they don't have any health conditions that would preclude them. Ooh, a learning assistant. Well, that's actually quite nice. We would probably like to rip that out of you. We don't need it, but we would like to reverse engineer it. So we'll psychically shock you. Um, yeah, brain damage. Well, that's great. So we'll just let you burn. And instead, how are you doing? Well, actually, you are probably looking a little bit better. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We'll psychically shock you. Don't get brain damage. That is perfect. We can use them for medical health transfer stuff. Uh, everyone get a bit closer. Let's find some more. There's gonna be a bit of cleanup here. I'm trying to keep the ones that have uh, marine armor alive the longest, actually. Chris? Yeah, your psychic heat is just a little bit too high. Oh, nope. I think you're just about ready to do another one. There is going to be so much random gear and stuff we find from this. Oh. Brain scare guy. Yeah, whatever. You can go. I think Sun Crystal gets some decent experience out of this, will I? Don't shoot Basil. Don't shoot Basil. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to get that guy before he leaves, but you're welcome to try. All right, uh, Chris. Oh, Chris, you, you should probably get back. To wow, we drained your entire side focus pool during all of that. And another person just hopped up. Never mind, they're dead again. Oh, the Arconex quest has become available. I presume it's because of all of the wealth that has just recently been dumped on our tile. Oof. Yeah, um, we're going to get rid of the corpses that are closest to the door first, and then we're going to consume them with the corpse consume thing. Oh, well, that might be a while. Wojciech is going to be out of action for five whole days. Yay! Happy coma times. Everyone has decided it's party time. Excellent. You guys enjoy your party. Even the zombies are hanging out, which is a little unusual because, you know, they're zombies. You're a thrall, buddy. Uh, never mind. They can be productive members of the community, I suppose. Plus, their shotguns are just awesome. I can't believe they missed out on that. Also, I really should use that shooting command more now that I've got access to it. Okay, okay. I, I'm over the hour. I didn't want to stop playing, though. It's just there's so much that's going on and we have access to so many new abilities. Like, we have just gained access to Death Shield recently. So now we've got Death Shield, consume Psy Essence, consume corpses. There's all these things that we can compile together just to make some stupidly broken stuff. And we're so close. Also, I, I just want more of these War Casket guys. These War Casket guys are just the business. If we have five of those, uh, we could just hold pretty much any choke point in existence. Plus, there's these whole shock lance things they can get that just look so incredibly overpowered that I really have to try them. The War Casket charge lance, this thing just looks... 
Uh, I can't I can't explain it. You'd have to see it for yourself. I've done some testing on the side with stuff, and I oh, but that that will have to wait. For now, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Mm -hmm.